The tensions between the general public in New Zealand and their Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern continues as she gets closer to the CCP in China and she loses more support in the country. When are these leaders like Jacinda Ardern going to learn that in the age of technology and access to information, you can't get away with the things that you guys used to in the past? For the past two, three years in places like New Zealand, you've had draconian measures. You have had not just lockdowns, but ultra measures. She used her police force to enforce certain regulations or the, the way they handled the rule breakers was absolutely disgusting. A free speech out the window, protests illegal. And uh, you had to follow not just the rules, but go with the symbolic movements. Uh, for example, you need to do what Jacinda does. Be a hypocrite. Wear your face nappies when needed, when there's a camera in front of you, but not when you can actually do your other stuff without using it. This uh, footage that we now have, uh, <laughs> is obviously it's been out for a while now, uh, is uh, showing a perfect example of someone like Jacinda Ardern not really believing in what she was preaching. Oh, you're most welcome to join. Yeah. I'll use you so you feel, but feel free to keep the mask on because you'll probably get me to serve on it. Feel free to just... Uh, yeah. And then I'll pop it. Yeah. Yeah, you can It turns into a spectator sport sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who wants to kick off? But feel free to keep the mask on because you'll probably get me to serve on it. Feel free to... I'm really the end of it and that's all, folks. What's that thing, by the way? Did you see? <laughs> What's going on with the nose? Um, you, you can make up your mind what's going on there. But not only the whole circus run by all the clowns is hilarious. That you know, she was like, yeah, yeah, it's probably it's probably a better look. Just to put it on. The second problem I have is that the guys behind her, especially the other one on the, that side of the screen, he was waiting for her to tell him whether it's a good idea or not to put the face nappy on. <laughs> it's not for public health. You know, he was like, I'm, I'm waiting. Should I do it? Should I not? Should I obey? I'm just following orders. I'm just following orders. It's, it's funny, but it's sad because this mentality and these leaders ruled for two years, at least two years. I mean, if you look at China, it's still happening. Look at Shanghai. Look at all the other places in, in China with all the camps that they've created uh, to, uh, to isolate people. That's still going on. It's all for total control. That's, that's, it's, it's all practice. It's all for practicing control. But the funny thing is, why, why did people listen to them? <laughs> At least in democracies. China is different. It's, it's an authoritarian country. It, it's, there's no democracy there. You have to listen. You can't even protest. But in so-called democracies, in Western democracies, for example, why, why did so many people fall for it? I mean, I, I understand it because they never thought um, that something like this could happen in terms of the measures I'm talking about, the authoritarianism. People became complacent. This was supposed to be a wake-up call. I don't think it has been a wake-up call, really. I don't think people, the masses in the West, have actually fully woken up when it comes to what actually happened. Um because considering that you know we've essentially gone back to overall the old normal, there are still certain ideas being th thrown around. You know, digital ID is still a thing. Uh, the digital currency is uh, centralized digital currency is still a thing. But because they're not directly in the eyes of the public, that it's not directly linked to lockdowns, they can't see a correlation. Maybe they haven't woken up because of that. But it's it's linked. It's all connected. It's all part of the same game. But we will see how it goes because. If, if you don't actually counter these arguments, then you're going to have some crazies coming up with the crazy theories about some lizards from Mars coming to Earth doing it. <laughs> it's not lizards from Mars. There are no lizards on Mars as far as I know, guys. But we have to counter these arguments. So we have the good advocates fighting for freedom, fighting for our values, rather than the nutters from both sides. There are nutters on both sides by the way. But uh, yeah, in the words of uh, Donald Trump, there are good, good guys on both sides. Uh, but we're going to come back, take a quick break. Um, but uh, we have a lot more stuff to talk about when it comes to what's going on in the country, in Britannia. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.